Hello everyone and welcome back. Yes, that's right. I'm back here at Clacton's most haunted his graveyard. Now, I'm telling you people, this may not be the biggest graveyard in the world, but this is probably one of the most hauntedest places I've ever been to. So, about a year ago, I came here, I done a little vlog, I explored the area, and the amount of paranormal activity that happened here shook me to the core. And I said, I'm never coming back here again. I lost all my footage, because my account was hacked about a year ago. And I said, I don't care, this place was this place was so scary and the stuff that happened in my flat because of this graveyard I said I'm never ever coming back here again but it's been a year people and since then nothing's happened at my flat um, just a couple of little things nearer the time about a year ago what was happening at my flat but it seems to have stopped I finally plucked up the courage and we're back here again so last time we come here we picked up on big orbs we heard weird noises there was a bang on the gate to the left of me. Um, there is a story that I'm going to tell you all when we walk about, about a little boy who tragically passed away and lost his life. And people have actually said they've seen this little boy wander in the graveyard. So we're going to explore it all, people. We're going to take a look at a few gravestones, the church behind me, and uh, I may even show you a few of the buildings around this graveyard because where we are is quite an old part of Clacton and uh, it's pretty scary looking. I think we're gonna pick up on a lot of things tonight. I can feel it in the air. It's extremely dark and I'm extremely scared. So anyway, let's jump into this video. Let's start exploring and let's have a little chat. Right, people, we're gonna start this video with the little story of the little boy that's been seen in this graveyard and why a little boy's been seen in this graveyard. Well, about 10 years ago, a mother and her son come walking through this graveyard. The boy must have been about six, five or six years old, and uh, came walking through the graveyard at the back entrance over there. He came running through with his mum towards this way across the path. He ran off from his mum, and as you get to the other side of the graveyard, the entrance, there's a road with a steep bend, and Unfortunately, the boy was running, he's tripped, cars came round the corner at the same time, boy racer, I think it was on the weekend, I'm not too sure, but we get a lot of boy racers round here, and unfortunately he got hit, and he died, like this car coming round at the minute, you do not see him coming, and that's it, that guy was going about 20 mile an hour, imagine a boy racer coming round the corner at... I don't know, 50, 60 mile an hour, that boy had no chance. So, unfortunately, he tragically died and passed away. Now, here's where things get a little bit scary, people. So, a lot of people have said they've seen a little boy running through the graveyard. And a lot of people have said near the, near the entrance of the graveyard, round about here. So, they see him here run across, and he gets to the at the entrance of the graveyard and just disappears and a lot of people have been phoning the police and have been saying I think there's a lost little boy in the graveyard running around and there is no little boy there is a ghost it's, it's his ghost people his spirit so what we're gonna do we're actually gonna light a candle for a little boy I've actually bought a teddy as well and uh, we're going to see if we can speak to him and we're going to see if we can get him to pass on. Now I know it's been 10 years and hopefully his spirit has moved on. But I haven't seen anybody else come here and do a video in this graveyard. And um, I just want the little boy to be at rest. I just thought off, off something just touched me. It may have just been that as I walked past it. Um, yeah, I just want the little boy's spirit to be at rest. So we're going to light a candle. And we're going to say things and hopefully we can get him to pass over and we're also going to see if he'll communicate with us but before we do that we're going to we are going to have a little explore because i haven't been here for quite a while and there's just this random tree cut up right over someone's grave my I add this is a bit weird especially the way it's come out of the ground now i don't know if that's collapsed has this collapsed because there's somebody's grave right there. 
and that looks like it's been ripped straight out the ground. Now I'm sure a machine ain't done that, they would cut it up. Let's step back. Also, I'm sorry if it's a bit dark and you can't see much, but obviously um, I've got a torch, I've got a, a torch on my head and I'm just filming with my phone. But yeah, that's a, a bit weird, the tree. You'd think they'd cut it up like they have there, but I think it must have collapsed with the wind because we have had a lot of wind lately. And then uh, they just cut it up, but it's over someone's grave. You think they would take that away? It's a bit disrespectful. Oh, it's also so freezing tonight. My hands are absolutely stone cold. So we're going to have a look at some of these graves. Now, last time I come here, I did spot a big, a huge orb over near this grave over here that I'm going to walk to now. And I'm going to go back there and we're going to have a little look at it. I'm also going to be quiet because you never know what you can hear. If you do see anything as well, please comment in the section down below. Sometimes you pick up on things that I don't. And sometimes vice versa. Sometimes I pick on things that you can't see. Because obviously it's so dark. Now this is where I picked up on the big orb. What I did is I read out this gravestone. So if we can read it. In love and memory of George Canla, who died August 28th. 1893 aged 56 years and jesus calls us to heaven's perfect peace also of isabella wife of above who died march 13th 1905 aged 68 years die will be done then i looked up and a huge orb flew towards me which really freaked me out and i i actually saw it and then um the camera actually picked up as well, slowed the footage down. But like I said, my cat did get hacked about a year ago. Like some weird eyes over there, is that a cat? So when I did come here last time, I actually had a cat as well come up to me and it freaked me out. But yeah, that's what them glowing eyes are in the distance, people, if you do see it. It's not a, a ghost, it is a cat. But it is freaky when they come up to you. Hello, pussy. Jet black cat, people, ha. Huh? How worrying is that? They say black cats are witches' cats. I don't know if that's true, but like I said, around this graveyard on the outside, there was a lot of old buildings, a lot of old inns. Another cat over there, people. You can see them weird green eyes. But yeah, there's a lot of weird inns and old buildings. There is actually a, a building that's boarded up that is abandoned, but um, I don't really want to trespass. I would love to go explore some buildings for you all, but I don't really want to trespass, to be honest. So this graveyard is open, so I ain't trespassing. Let's read a couple of these head headstones. In love and memory of Hannah, wife of James Page, who died 23rd Jan 1892, aged 74, I am the resurrection and the life of St. John 24. What's that noise? There's a noise coming from that tree. Did you hear that? I think I can hear noises. I am the resurrection and life St. John, also James Page, who died 23rd December 1895, aged. There it goes again. If there's a spirit here, and you don't like me reading that, this gravestone, please make a noise or do something now, so let me know you're here. So last time I come here, I've got nothing at this gravestone. I'm getting um, some weird noises. I think we're going to light the candle in a minute. There's definitely something coming from that tree now. It could be bats, it could be birds, I don't know what it is. But yeah, what I'm going to do in a minute, people, is uh, we're going to light a candle and we're going to see if we can pick up on any spirits and uh, communicate with them. And then after that, we're going to go look at the church, which is over in this direction, because I had some weird things happen to the, on the right of the church. A lot of weird things happened on the right of the church. There was a car over there with the headlights on. 
which is a bit weird. Yeah, anyway, we're going to uh, go plot up somewhere, say a few words, and see if we can uh, communicate with any spirits and make some paranormal activity happen here in this graveyard, and then we're going to explore the, uh, the church. Right. We've lit a candle, people. We're going to say a few words. We're going to see if we can contact any spirits. We're going to see if we can pick up on the spirit of the little boy. Before we start, I just want to say, if there is any spirits in this graveyard, please do not harm me or follow me home. I come in peace. I just want to communicate with you. And hopefully you can pass over in peace and nothing happens. We're going to switch over to uh, um, night vision. And uh, we're going to see if we can get something to happen. That candle has just blown out. There is no wind behind that um, stone, which is a bit weird. But let's go into uh, night vision and let's see if we can uh, get that candle going again. Right. If there's any spirits in this graveyard who wish to communicate with us, please do something by either blowing out the candle, moving the teddy, or making a noise. Now, I don't know if it's the wind people. Um, let's light it again. But it, it's not that windy, and we are behind a gravestone. Was that, a, was that you who blew that candle out? So I keep thinking I can hear noises. If that was a spirit that blew that candle out, do it again now. If there's a little boy who roams around this graveyard. Oh my God. Why did it go out as soon as I said that? Let's light it once more. I'm hearing noises now in the background. If there is a little boy who roams around in this graveyard, please move the teddy that I've given you. This is now your teddy. You can do whatever you want with it. You can move it around. You can play with it. I just want to say, we all know it wasn't your fault that you passed away so quick. But if you are here, please communicate. And hopefully we can help you pass over to the other side. I think what I'm going to do, people, is I'm going to leave that candle going. It hasn't gone out again, which is weird. It went out twice. That's the only time it's gone out. Now, there isn't much wind today, but there has been wind in the last couple of days. Right, I just want to say one more thing. If there is a spirit of a little boy here, I'm now going to go for a walk. We're going to explore the church and the graveyard a little bit more. And if you want to play with this Elmo and you want to move him around at all, please do so. You can also move the candle. You can blow it out. You can move the Elmo. You can talk to us if you want to talk to us and make a noise. When I come back though, hopefully you can pass over. We're going to say a few words when I come back and hopefully we can get you to pass over if you are here. So anyway, we're going to go for a walk now. Like I said, if you want to move the teddy, please do so. Right, we're going to go for a walk, people. The candle's already blown out, but it could just be the wind. Um, if the Elmo, the Elmo moves, we'll know that it's definitely something because that ain't going to move. We're going to have a look at this church very very old you can tell by the brickwork last time I actually come here there was actually a banging on this gate which was really freaky <clears throat> gonna have a little look at the church I'm gonna go quiet as well I wonder if somebody actually lives in here so freaky Let's 
turn the flash on my phone as well. I forgot to get the flash on on YouTube. I'll be able to see it. It's extremely dark. The only light in here is from me, from my phone, from my head torch. So you can actually come here. St. John's Church, Great Clapton. Oh, that's a weird little cellar here. Let's see if we can poke the camera through there. Let's see if you can see anything in there. So dark, can't see nothing. But what a weird little hole. Let's check out the size of this church. Maybe I'll have to come here one day and actually go sit in the church. church. I don't want to be disrespectful so I won't talk but I'm sitting there say a few prayers for a little boy who supposedly roams this graveyard. I reckon that was some sort of holding cell. Stairs, I can see stairs. So in a cell. But you've got to remember a lot of these old churches and old buildings Back in the day would have been like prisons. So there would have been some sort of lord or lady who would have owned this church. And they stick a lot of prisoners, a lot of criminals in these churches. And the amount of people that have had their services here. And obviously the story of the little boy who passed away. So like I said, if you see anything, please let me know in the comments. I'm trying to go a bit quiet now. Especially as now I've tried to contact spirits. Another doorway. Just check out how old this building is. Just step back. It's so dark in here. There's no lights. Obviously there's lights at the doors. Somebody walking through the graveyard now. So I'm actually gonna stop the video and get back to you. Sorry about that, but there was somebody walking through the graveyard, walking towards me. And um, I just I just get a little bit embarrassed filming in front of people. That's why I don't like to explore abandoned buildings. Just in case I'm trespassing. I know I'm not trespassing, but we gotta remember this is a graveyard and People do come and visit loved ones here, so I do need to be respectful, if you know what I mean. We're going to walk back slowly towards that um, the teddy and the candle. I know the candle's already blown out, and it could just be the wind. Like I said a couple of days ago, it was really windy. It's not that windy tonight, but it's uh, still a bit weird that the candle was going out. Frederick Charles Noble, eldest son of the above, died 12th February 1898, aged 28 years, in the mid, mid, midst of, what does that say? In the midst of life, we are in death. Also of Frederick Charles Noble, died October 19th, 1909, 67 years, rest in peace. Also of Mary Ann, beloved wife of above, who died Feb 24th, 1921, aged 77 years, at rest. May your souls be at rest. We're coming back up to where I left that teddy. Seriously? Oh, I thought it was... I thought the teddy had moved for a second. I thought I'd put it here, but I've put it there. It hasn't moved. It is here. We are just going to leave it here. Well, I'm going to say a couple more words, though. If there is a spirit of a little boy, I would like to say to you, um, please go up to the light. May your soul be at rest. Um, I haven't heard any noises or seen anything tonight. But if you are here, if you're still here, please go up to the light. 
your mummy will be waiting for you in the future. Let's just leave that there. We never know, something might move it. So we'll leave that there. Some of these turns in little gates. What was that noise? There's a dog, there's a dog. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back over to that first grave that we looked at because I was hearing weird noises coming from a tree. Now it could have been a bird, it could have been a bat, but it was weird that every time I read the gravestone we heard the noise. So let's head back over towards there. I'm also in a little while gonna show you some of the buildings around this area. So we can't go in them because of COVID and that. But I'm gonna show you how old this area is. So this uh, graveyard is called, um, is in Great Clacton. I don't actually know the name of this little graveyard. I'm gonna have to find that. I don't really do any research. I just explore and film it and put it up for you all. Look at this, this is crazy. Tree is absolutely ripped out of the ground. Don't know if it's because of the weather. Let's actually try and read the grave that it's literally collapsed on. Sacred to the memory of Frederick Laws, late of Vauxhall Hall in the county of Suffolk who died September 30th 1869 aged I can't read 48 years which Christ which is far the writing on it people is so blurred I can't even actually see it I'll just check out this grave it's just been taken over by weeds like none of the other graves, graves in this graveyard I like that that's weird. I can't imagine how old this grave it actually is. So, the oldest grave I've actually seen in this graveyard is about, um, I'm getting this really weird light. What is going on? Hang on a second. I don't know if it's a watermark. Can you see, can you see that weird light? Let me rub the camera a sec. That's better. I hope that wasn't on there for too long. Um, that was weird, that light. Um, yeah, I lost what I was going to say now. Yeah, um, the, the oldest grave I've actually seen in here dates back to the, the um, late 1700s. So there's some really, really old graves in here. It's like 300 years old, people. So we're going to go back over here because we heard that noise. This is where the black cats hang out. Also, this is where I see an all blast time I come here. Did I just, I thought I'd just see an all, but I hope that was on camera. Please don't say I caught an all in the exact same position as before. So this is where we was hearing the weird noises over here when we was reading out this grave. It was coming from that tree. I'm getting a really weird feeling around this area. Let's read a couple more graves. In love and memory of William Parker, died the 25th of January, 1893, aged 79 years. get a really weird feeling around here people <gasps> what's that oh, I'm getting freaked out I'm actually feeling uncomfortable here I'm actually feeling really uncomfortable I've actually got like you know when your hair stand up 
so I constantly feel like there's something about to grab me. I'm getting away from this area. There's something weird in this area. It doesn't feel right. I think what I'm going to do, we've explored some of the graveyard. I'm actually going to explore some of the buildings for you as well around the graveyard. So uh, let's go grab that teddy and let's uh, head out of here and explore some of the buildings around this graveyard. So we've grabbed that little Elmo people and we're heading out of here. I haven't really had much happen tonight, but I thought I'm gonna get out of here because I started getting a really weird feeling and it wasn't right, it wasn't a nice feeling, it wasn't like it was a nice spirit. It felt it's like getting goosebumps, it's like getting a bit worried. Um, wind is coming up as well. I'm gonna show you some of the buildings. Uh, normally when I set off, I start feeling weird, um, I'll carry on filming and um, see if we can pick up on anything, but it wasn't a nice feeling. I was getting a really horrible feeling, so I thought I'm just gonna get out of there, film some of the buildings for you, and uh, let you have a little look around because it is just an exploring video at the end of the day, and I don't want anything bad to happen to me or follow me home. So let's uh, check out some of these buildings um, before I end this video. So, right next to the uh, graveyard, there is a house called the Old Church House, which is a uh, very old, extremely weird building. And as you can see, the cars have come around the corner. No wonder why there was an accident here. So they just come zooming around the corner, and obviously, there's the entrance to the uh, graveyard. So little boys just run out here straight into the road and just been hit. So if we cross over the road, I oh know it's so windy. I hate the wind, it ruins the videos. I hope you can all hear me building here it's now like a Thai restaurant very nice but as you can see really old building straight ahead of us is actually a haunted building um, I think it's called the Queen's Head is it the Queen's Head not a little house there let's go have a little look at the Queen's Head Yeah, this is all raw footage for you. Weird little shop there. Queen's Head Chambers. Beauty salon there. It's obviously just an old inn. Sorry about the noise, there's cars coming past me. Extremely weird old building. I don't know what it dates back to. I have to have a look look it up. Queen's Head Chambers. Also, if people don't know, um, the little village of St. Osef is actually um, near Clacton on Sea and it has one of the most haunted haunted buildings in England, the cage. People um, if you haven't heard about the cage, please YouTube it and uh, look at videos of the cage. Lots of paranormal activity has happened at the cage. Lots of ghost hunters and explorers have gone there, picked up on a lot of things. I'd love to go in there and have a look. But with COVID, we ain't going to be able to have a look. So over here we have the ship pub, opposite the graveyard also. Another freaky old building, an old inn. So many cars and lorries come down this road at the corner because it's like the main road into Clacton, as you can see. So yeah, this is all the buildings basically around the graveyard. So over here is the abandoned building I was talking about. As you can see, it's all boarded up. Another freaky looking building. This is literally a two, three minute walk from the uh, graveyard. 
Right, I am gonna end the video here, people. We didn't have too much happen, but I did get a really, really weird feeling in the end, and I just thought it's best for me to leave, especially as I've had paranormal activity happen at the flat after I visited this graveyard, so hopefully nothing follows me back, and um, if it does, I'll obviously vlog it for you. But um, yeah, not much happened, but I explored the graveyard. I enjoyed exploring it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope the, uh, the camera, camera footage was okay, and you could see everything. So we had that really weird smudge that we halfway through, which was a bit weird, but um, we wiped it off and then the camera's working, so that, that was a bit weird, but um, yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time. Bye.